From the Orange County Convention Center to International Drive, the safety of visitors is top priority here in the Tourism Corridor. And the Orange County Sheriff's Office is taking a multifaceted, proactive approach to public safety in the number one destination in the country. In the shadow of Orlando's world-class attractions, there is a squad working seven days a week focused on public safety in the tourism corridor. These are members of the Orange County Sheriff's Office Tourist Oriented Policing Squad, or TOPS, sworn to keep the peace in an area that draws millions of tourists each year. We want to make sure that they have a safe feeling, let them know that we're out here patrolling the streets, uh, make sure that when they park in the parking lot that they can have a safe walk to the hotel, that they can walk along I Drive and see all the fun things that's offered here and feel safe. The TOPS unit is assigned exclusively to International Drive, thanks to special funding from the I Drive Business Improvement District. An important part of their job is to engage with visitors on a daily basis. That means getting out of their vehicles and patrolling on foot or bicycles, making it easier for visitors to approach. They're trying to get a, a comfort feeling of, do you have a lot of crime here? And we're like, no, it's all handled, even though we know that there's always crime everywhere, but to the extent, we keep it down quite a bit here with the amount of staffing we have. And uh, so that's comforting to them, which reassures them to come back next time. And that spreads out from them as far as, hey, it was very safe on I-Drive. Uh, we got to take pictures with some police officers, and we felt reassured that there was no crime happening. That engagement extends to the businesses along I-Drive who welcome people from all over the world. Visibility and communication are critical to maintaining close relationships with those who work in this community. These partnerships are another important part of the Sheriff's Office TOPS unit strategy. As we're patrolling somewhere else, there are eyes forward, and that see something, say something really comes into play. So those meetings that you went to this morning, our intel meetings, is to bridge that gap, but also make sure we do have that constant relationship. Because without them, you know, we're standing there just answering calls for service versus getting ahead of something, and they give us a, hey, this is, looks weird. And then we go there and intervene, and then we take care of the problem for them. In addition to the TOPS unit on patrol each day on iDrive, the Sheriff's Office holds monthly intelligence meetings to share crime trends with business leaders. Master Deputy James Bridges started these monthly meetings five years ago to empower and inform community members. As long as we can all work together out here for one common goal to keep our our employees, our visitors, our guests that come out here, keep them safe when they're out here, make them feel comfortable, to have a good time, that's our whole, that's our whole thing, what we do. There's so much activity here in Orlando between tourism and the locals, and everything else going on. Uh, it's really great to be able to get together and, and build those connections so that when something happens, you know who to reach out to. These connections are vital in keeping the tourism corridor safe and welcoming. As Orlando continues to grow, these meetings are attracting more and more community leaders who see the value in sharing information and working together to be part of the solution. It's a great way for us to be able to see what the Sheriff's Office is seeing um, locally, what's trending, and then um, what I do is I like to bring those notes back to share with my peers so that we collectively uh, in, in Orange County know what's going on um, to be able to prevent these incidents from happening and keep our, our, our guests uh, safe. There's a criminal element that is inevitably attracted to this busy area. The TOPS unit is on the front lines of preserving the safety and security of residents, tourists, and business owners alike, responding to calls around the clock. It is work that will continue to challenge the agency as major new attractions on the horizon promise to draw even more visitors. So when we talk about growth, even though we're growing in size-wise, might not be as far as personnel-wise, but our technology and so forth is, is helping us tremendously. So we have more eyes on, more intelligence-led policing type aspect of it. And when you see things like the New York Social Studios coming open and it's growing, it's, it's fun, but it's also you're like, whew, it's, it's a big undertaking, which is knowing that there's going to be more people here. And so with more people here, you're going to need more people boots on the ground too. The Orange County Sheriff's Office not only works to keep the crime rate down in the iDrive area, but they also recognize that promoting positive interactions with law enforcement and visitors can go a long way. People sometimes are a little apprehensive of 
approaches them in uniform, right? And we also show them that there is a flip side to it. Yes, we're law enforcement, we're also human, and we are we are nice, we're professionals. Um, but there are times all of a sudden we have to take that law enforcement action, and that comes from putting hands on bad guys and taking them to jail. In an area responsible for billions of dollars of economic impact each year, these men and women are committed to ensuring Orlando remains the number one destination safely and securely. For Orange TV, I'm Crystal Candy.